tired of hearing the uh, Tom Mob Chop song? Excuse or, me? You tired uh, of hearing the FSU fight song? Oh, uh, no, man. That's just, uh, uh, just a little song for uh, uh, a, little, a little crowd distraction noise. So, uh, uh, but not, not tired of hearing them. When you get uh, off of a week last week, look at the film and then kind of put it away. But I know you want to grow each week. What did, what did you have to, to get better at after last week? Uh, well, I think uh, after last week, we just got to do a great job of not uh, giving those guys plays when they, it shouldn't be a play. You know, we just got to do our job and execute. I don't think we executed to a T uh, like we did the week before. Uh, we had a little bit uh, more MAs uh, than the previous week. Uh, but but I, I think for sure that uh, we, we just got to do a better job of getting those feelings burned down, uh, you know, not having feelings of P.I. or Roughing the passer, uh, you know, or, uh, or the uh, the targeting foul, you know, so those things kept drives alive and, uh, and kept those guys' momentum going. But uh, uh, I thought we did a great job of stopping the run. Um, passing game uh, was a little bit disappointing in uh, some of the areas, uh, you know, that, that we most definitely got to get better at. But uh, overall, uh, anytime you get a win, that's uh, that's a plus. Right, when you look at Cam, Cam Akers on film, probably one of the better running backs in the country. What do you see about him that makes him just makes him so talented? He's just explosive. With his statue, uh, you know, you look at a guy that's, that's very, very built, uh, has a, a thick lower body. Um, uh, he's from the state of Mississippi, number one. Uh, I just had to clean that up. Uh, but, but a really good football player that, uh, uh, that knows how to play the game and, and plays the game the right way. Uh, and uh, he's very, very powerful and uh, shifty as well. So uh, he does a good job blocking. Uh, he's just a great all around back. And uh, we look forward to competing against him this weekend. Justin's the quarterback's had a pretty good year, but when you look at ways to kind of slow them down, does it start, does it start with slowing down Cam? Anytime you're playing against, no matter what offense it is, uh, whether it's EKU, whether it's uh, you know West Kentucky, whether it's Notre Dame, or whether it's uh, these guys coming up, you always have to stop the run. That's the first and foremost thing. Uh, because if you don't stop the run, it's going to be a long day. Uh, because now they, you, 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 now you're guessing as a play caller, you know, uh, what, what, are, what are they going to do? So uh, I think no doubt you have to be able to contain that rush, you know, contain the rushing attack, and uh, and then now as a play call, it's a little bit easier to call the game. We have talked a lot about the depth this year. Do you feel like up front you're getting the rotation seems to be kind of down now after a couple of games? Yeah. Do you feel pretty good about it? Uh, well, no, uh, because uh, we don't we don't have a lot of time. You know, uh, just like I said early on, uh, uh, we, we try to rotate a lot of guys. But, uh, you know, you got injuries here, injuries there, uh, but right now. The, Depth uh, is not where we need to be, and that's going to be an issue, you know, for the next couple of years until we get it right uh, to be able to have our depth, especially up front. So uh, uh, we, we no doubt are, are trying our best to uh, uh, rotate a lot of guys up front, uh, but the depth is still not where we want to be. Anthony Johnson's made a big game against Western Kentucky. Have you seen him improving as the season goes on, or, or is this the numbers just catching up to how he's been performing? Uh, well, he has improved, uh, no doubt. He, he's improved, uh, you know, since fall camp for sure. And, uh, you know, it's just a battle between all those guys. You know, you've seen uh, different starting lineups besides CJ being the, uh, the starting corner in all three games. Uh, that other guy on the other side is uh, not just solidified just yet. So, uh, uh, you know, we're, we're, it's a work in progress, and we're just trying to figure out who's going to practice the best this week and uh, who's going to practice the best for the guys. You mentioned CJ. Seems to be kind of one of your better tacklers in the secondary. How important are those corners going to be in terms of when you talk about stopping the run? How important are they? Well, they're going to be very important to be able to, uh, you know, those RPOs. Uh, you know, anytime you have, you know, we have a run stopping defense call, uh, when those guys run in the vertical, vertical stops, and quick slants, things of that nature, uh, it's very critical for those guys to tackle one on one, you know, and, and, and to be able to do that to get those guys down so we can play another down uh, will be very critical this game. Sometimes DBs get a bad rep in tackling, obviously, be. Do you feel like you've stayed impressed you in terms of the way that they tackle? They've done a lot better. Uh, you know, going back and looking at last year's film, and uh, even after the first game, I think our, our defensive backfield has done a, uh, a really good job open open field tackling. Uh, that was one of the things we stressed from day uh, from after the first game, the Notre Dame game, trying to cut those missed tackles in half, and we cut it in half, and the next game we cut that in half. So uh, that's that's a really really positive uh, uh, thing as a as a defensive coach or just a coach in general. Uh, being able to see that it's, it's less missed tackles uh, as opposed to more uh, the previous game. Rajay, is he doing what you want him to do in that guard position? Oh, no, he, he's, doing, he's doing a really good job for us, man. Uh, I'm really pleased with Rajay, and uh, uh, he's throwing his body around. You know, and he's he's uh, he loves to be physical. Uh, you know, being able to get a, a scoop and score last week was really really uh, good.
good for him as well as us as a team. Uh, but he's doing uh, everything we ask of him in the co-op this week. You mentioned the scooping score. When we were here last week, and, you know, turnovers and, and gaining turnovers was a, a big part of the discussion that we had. Did you like this, the progress that they made going into West Virginia? Oh, yeah, I, I did. I did. I liked the progress. We got two turnovers, uh, two of them really key turnovers. Uh, you know, you get a scoop and score right before halftime, uh, and then you get the uh, – they actually completed it and it would have been the first down and uh, AJ stripped it. Uh, so that was a, a big, uh, big turnover as well. Uh, could have had a couple of interceptions, I thought, and uh, we left that out on the table. So a couple of MOPs. And uh, uh, so the next game, hopefully this weekend, we can, uh, we can come up with those. Amani, after the game, you mentioned that the defensive line takes, watches films specifically on the specific offensive line and they're going against. Mm -hmm. um, so you got to see their weaknesses and the strengths. How much? Do you feel like that helps in the way they're performing up front as well? I think that's that's really, really key for those guys up front. Uh, just like we do at receiver, uh, for the receivers, quarterbacks, uh, we, we do that uh, scouting for everybody. And uh, and that's that's really key uh, for, for those guys to understand guys' weaknesses and strengths, uh, to see what it is that they can counter, you know, to be able to, uh, uh, you know, win that one-on-one -on -one matchup with those offensive linemen. So uh, I think our defensive line is doing a really good job of doing that study. And uh, Coach Ivy's done a great job with those guys are very for sure. All right. Thanks, good. Appreciate it.